What's happening everybody? We're back at a mountain bike race. I feel like I've been hit by a bus yet again. Surprise, surprise. It feels like every time at a mountain bike race, I get sick as a dog, which isn't great, but hey ho. Okay, and we're here at Ard Rock. It's a glorious day. Sun is shining. I've not cleaned my bike since Stone King. Fresh, baby. We're gonna crack on and do some POV and lots of my brand partners are here with Stan so we're gonna go and see what they're saying. Uh, yeah, just trying to enjoy riding bikes again. Like I said, I've not cleaned or even ridden my bike since Stone King, which was five weeks ago now. So I'm a little bit rusty. Can't wait for you to see what it's like on the trails. Bye. What a view. You can see our Rock Village there. Me and Phil not seen this man probably in years. Our practice turned into kind of a filming session. Here's Jim ripping it. A couple skids for the camera. Bike was feeling absolutely unreal to be honest. It's a legit physio exercise. <laughs> Again, it's like a proper festival, proper sick event. I've never been here before, so that is a wild. Joe Connor, Phil and doing some jibs, and that was practice done basically. Yes, it's race day at Hard Rock. Um it rained a little bit, but not too bad. Let's fingers cross for um, no rain, but I'm gonna bring a jacket anyway. It is on my bike, currently. There she is. <whistles> Very nice. I'm doing a signing at Seven Mesh later on, and I'm gonna give away a jersey. That's pretty cool. First of all, we've gotta get through the day. Wish me luck. <laughs> all right, so I thought it'd be cool to do a little narration of my race day. Kicking off things at Hard Rock. Good luck, everybody. Top of stage one. Seven stages of the day, so this is the first of many. Sorry about the GoPro doing some weird things there. I had the settings all wrong. Top section, super cool, kind of rocky. Luckily, we had some dry conditions. Super dynamic, kind of rolling, flowy turns. Try to straighten things up a little bit. Hit some flat turns. A bit sketchy, but... I was just trying to think about keeping it smooth and not doing anything too crazy. I knew the stages were pretty short, so I was definitely going to push, especially on the pedals. Cool rocky section, I can't remember what they call, but it's kind of like a key section of this stage. Anyway, stage two, probably the best stage of the day in my opinion, reminded me of Molfrey, a British downhill series track that I used to race when I was doing the downhill stuff. Anyway, super chunky, kind of fast, hard braking, felt like a downhill track. Pretty cool. Cocked that turn up big time, which really annoyed me. Coming onto that big old pedal. Didn't know where that high line was, but just kind of guessed for it and it worked all right. These are the turns that I kind of stalled and it was kind of frustrating. <laughs> Another inside same reason I felt like you could just get on the pedals a little bit sooner if you went outside lots of blind crest and it was super loose this left was pretty scary it felt like it would blow out really easy but got lucky there back into some kind of single track fast sections trying to be dynamic not touch the brakes pumping basically as hard as you can on all these loose braking zone these turns are kind of sketchy because there's not much support again just being dynamic tuck in it was quite windy so try to stay out the wind Ran a little bit wide on that right, but it was all right. Bit of a hop there, lucky not to go into that ditch. That would have been a bit of a bummer. Another flat, kind of sketchy turn. You really want to be patient. I'm absolutely blowing out my ass at this point because I was super unwell all week, which is annoying because I feel like I could have delivered a pretty good result, but hey ho, that's the way things go. At this stage, I thought I had a flat, but really it was just the Ibis doing its job of making things super juicy on the suspension. Little bit of water. Two stages done. Pretty happy. Stalled in a couple of turns on the second one, but nothing to really complain about. Basically me just reiterating what I just said. So this is stage three. Lewis Monroe got a little clip of me pedaling at the gate. Again, straight into some kind of loose, rocky, flowy trails. This is the first of blind stages. Kind of took me back to the Stone King. You basically just try to scan up, anticipate what's coming up and hope you kind of get lucky. Lots of blind crests like that. So if you knew what was coming, you could have definitely pushed more 
on those things. Again, kind of inside there, try to stay smooth. Blind crest, definitely too cautious, but that's the way things go. Sketchy right hander, and then try to carry speed, little edge on the inside, edge on the inside there. Try to straight things up. Just that was the only real mistake I made all day, which is pretty cool, proud of that, to have like such a clean race. Just didn't have much in the legs and the lungs. And this is stage four, I believe. Again, Lewis was riding around with me, so managed to get a couple of sprint clips. Not much power, but hey ho. Another blind stage, so just try to stay dynamic, work the bike, and react to anything that's coming up. I really enjoyed the top sections of all these stages, and then the bottom, they flattened out and got super physical. Um, that's the way things go, it's racing. Um, super nice turns, love this section. Arp. Charging on the inside there, just try to stay straight. Lots of crests again, just pump in, working the bike. You can hear me absolutely gassed. I'm still feeling pretty rough to be honest going into British Enduro this weekend, but that is life. Cool section there, just blast that turn and then stay inside. From here on out, it was just basically a pedal fest, and I struggled, so no wonder William Brody put time into me. Right, stage five, the flattest of the day, so I'm not going to show you much. Again, the advice from one of the marshals was just pump all the jumps and pedal as hard as you can. So that is exactly what I did. Pretty cool stage, like super easy to ride, but when you go in fully tapped, all these loose gravelly flat turns turn into actually quite a big challenge so it was nice to just ride something easy but really attack felt pretty sick pumping the jumps tucking pedaling lots of blind crests that you're just kind of hoping that the backside is safe the theme of this whole stage was just pretty flat pump pedal so kind of, if you can be on the left or the right of the turn, straightening things up, then I think it's a winner. Staying low. Kind of ran a little bit wide there. You can hear me go, kicking myself. And then inside, inside. This is actually stage six now. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Another cool one, it's just flat out from the gate. You can really push, love this section. Inside on the grass. And then another inside, straightening things up. This is fully tapped. I wanted to no break this final right, but I did not have the gonads. A little pedal over the line, bish bash bosh. I was gassed. And then the final stage, kind of flat off camber, straight forward again. That was the theme. Fairly tired by now. Tuck the front there. Really want to be careful. That kind of put me off. Um, but managed to get back into it. This off camber was pretty tricky. Flat, and then I wanted to go high over this rock and then stay right. I did that in practice, but did not have the concentration. Uh, super nice little section here, like mad dynamic, pumping all the stuff. Bottomed out my shock there. Note to self, probably put some air in it for this weekend. And then coming into the final woods, super fast. This is like basically blind as well. I did one practice one, but we were filming. So you're just kind of trying to remember what's coming up and basically go into stuff fully cooked and tapped. Overbreak this corner because I thought it was something else. You can hear me breathing. I wanted to go outside here but went inside by accident. It's just the way the trail took me. It's kind of enduro style is just being dynamic and reacting and taking everything with a pinch of salt. Buying a little push through the grass sprinting my little legs off pre-hop the drop grip flat right don't break sprint over the line pop the tape because it couldn't slow down and that's the day done i finished fourth on the day so that's super cool and then ended up doing a signing with seven mesh and the lion crew here's some photos from my day 
And then obviously it wouldn't be Hard Rock without the little kids bike race, which I did not take part in. Proper good vibes, massive shout out to the event organisers and Jim Topless and Kat for all the help and keeping us involved and all that jazz, so yeah. Mega day, beers on tap, the dude, crew them, Bergtech were there, Crack Brothers, Maxis, pizza, what more could you ask for?